Alright, so in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to make an auto reset button that can be pressed to reset the player's character. So, the first thing we're going to do is go to start a GUI in the Explorer tab and click the little plus. And then search up the screen GUI and insert one of those. And now you can call that reset character. And you can turn on ignore GUI inset, it will just make it use the entire screen. And then in this reset character we're going to press the plus again and we're going to insert a text button. So you can search for that, click it again, and now I'm going to change the size of this, so I'm going to make it 0 0.2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then I'm just going to resize it so it looks alright, and then I'm going to edit it a bit, so I'm going to turn off auto button colour, I'm going to add a UI corner, I am going to add a UI stroke, and I'm going to add a UI gradient, so now I can just make this UI corner 0, 0.2, 0, I can add this UI stroke, UI stroke to be border, make it 3 thickness, and then in this UI gradient, I will click 3 dots and choose 2 time frames, so I'm going to make it red, and then slightly darker red, and I'll make it slightly lighter red, and then you click close, and then in the text button itself, I'm going to scroll down to the text place, and then turn on text scaled, and I'm going to make the text reset character. And now we've got this button, I'm going to make a script, a local script, in the text button. So click the plus and click local script, or search for it. And I'm going to name this script reset script. So in this script, we're going to have R to reset for this GUI. So when it's clicked, the player resets, but also you can press R on your keyboard. So how we're going to do that is local UIS, the user input service, so local UIS equals game, colon get service. A pair of brackets, then quotation marks, user, input, service, and then drop a few lines, and then UIS, dot input began, colon connect function, and then input objects, so I'm going to call that input, obj, and then comma, and then processed. And now you can open up the function, and what we're going to say is if not processed, then, so if the game hasn't processed it, so if the player isn't chatting or in the escape menu, then if input object dot key code is equal to so two equal signs enum dot key code dot r then so here we're going to reset the player's character so first of all we need to see if the player has a character first of all because if there's no character then we don't want the script to error so what we're going to do is if game dot players dot local player dot character then so if we have a character then game dot players dot local player dot character dot humanoid so the humanoid of our character dot health equals zero so this will kill the character so now if i load into the game you'll see that when i press r it kills me but if i'm chatting and i press r it doesn't but this button still doesn't work so now we need to get an event that fires every time this button is pressed. So, all we're going to do is script.parent.mouse button one clicked, or mouse button one click, sorry, call and connect function, and then drop a line. And basically, what this is saying is script.parent, so the button, because the script is in the button, dot mouse button one click, so when it's clicked with the left mouse button, run this code. So, we just copy this, so if game.players.localplayer.character, then kill the player. You can just copy that and paste it again down here and now when we run this game so now we're in if we click reset character you will see our player dies so that was how you make r to reset uh, with keyboard and with a button in roblox studio if you found this helpful please subscribe and i will see you next time